8 Things Your Car Insurance Doesn't Cover Most likely, your car insurance does not cover what you believe it does. You're driving down the road when you get into a fender collision. Because you have car insurance, the repairs will be paid for. Right? However, it turns out that a driver's automobile insurance usually does not cover a lot of things. Here are 8 of the most frequent things that standard auto insurance does not cover. 1. Normal wear and tear. Most automobile insurance policies exclude wear and tear, which is described as the progressive deterioration of your vehicle as a result of normal use. As a result, if a driver gets a flat tire or their brakes begin to screech, they are likely on their own to pay for repairs. 2. Mechanical failures. If a driver's check engine light illuminates or their transmission begins to slip, they should not expect their auto insurance provider to cover the costs. These types of issues are often classified as mechanical breakdowns, which are not covered by most insurance policies. 3. Aftermarket Components If a driver has installed custom rims or upgraded their radio system, they should not expect their insurance policy to cover the cost of replacement or repair. Most policies only cover parts installed by the manufacturer. 4. Off-roading or racing if a driver intends to race or use their car for high-risk off-roading adventures, most auto insurance providers will demand supplementary policies. Drivers who intend to go off-road in their vehicle should be aware that their insurance policy may not cover them. Again, drivers should check with their insurance company first. 5. Various Natural Disasters Certain acts of God, such as hail, hurricanes, and tornadoes, may not be covered by an auto insurance policy. Some of it may be covered by comprehensive coverage, but some insurers have stringent limits on how much they'll pay. If a driver lives in a region prone to natural catastrophes, they should discuss with their auto insurer what is and is not covered. 6. Theft of personnel items. Personal items stolen from a driver's vehicle is often not covered by auto insurance. In most cases, insurers will only cover components that are permanent features of the vehicle. However, renters' or homeowners' policies may cover them, so before storing valuables in a car, a motorist should ensure that they are adequately covered. 7. Ride-sharing and delivery services. Trying to supplement your income by delivering meals or carrying others. Accidents will not be covered by standard motor insurance coverage because this is considered commercial activity. To be covered, ride-share and delivery drivers will need to obtain a separate auto insurance policy. Accidents caused by uninsured drivers If a driver is hit by an uninsured motorist, someone who does not have automobile insurance, he or she may be out of luck. Most states require drivers to have liability insurance, however not all drivers obey the law. If an insured driver is involved in an accident with an uninsured motorist, their own insurance company will almost certainly wind up footing the bill for repairs, and they will almost certainly experience a rate increase as a result. To protect themselves, drivers should consider including uninsured motorist coverage in their insurance. Auto insurance companies may also provide underinsured motorist coverage, which pays for damages in excess of what another driver's policy covers. Have you ever been in an accident and had to rely on your auto insurance coverage to pay for repairs? If so, you understand how critical it is to have adequate coverage. Unfortunately, ordinary car insurance policies do not cover a wide range of situations. So, before a driver finds himself with a costly repair bill, they should spend some time familiarizing themselves with what is not covered by most plans. And, if the motorist is concerned about something specific, they should make sure to obtain additional coverage to protect one of the most expensive investments most individuals will make in their lives. Because, when it comes to insurance, it's always better to be cautious than sorry.